the Felicia Barnes case, as tragic as it is, changed things. The Felicia Barnes disappearance opened the door for spreading awareness to missing persons. The Felicia Barnes case opened doors for spreading awareness for people of color. And because of Felicia Barnes, we have the Felicia's Law now, which is a law in Baltimore where law enforcement, you know, has to basically reach out to the private sector and community groups and advocates to help fill the gaps where they lack when it comes to manpower and getting people on the street. You know, these groups can get out there now. We can hit the social network now. We can put things together now. We don't get off. We don't clock out. But we have the social networking. We have the guardian angels in the boots on the ground. We have the advocates on the boots on the ground. We can make things happen. We can get to that site and we can we can spread the awareness. Be because of the Felicia Barnes case, we have our relationship and our partnership with Peace in their pods who also spread awareness for missing persons, especially missing persons of colors. We have Gaetan Borders of Peace in their pod who is clinically trained to not only help us with her knowledge of what it takes to, to basically track the social disturbances of the family and the, 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 the missing person, but she can also heal the family. She can also heal that person that may have been trafficked or taken or kidnapped or even just a runaway. You know, we have that partnership and we have these partnerships because of Felicia Barnes. You know, we have peas in their pods. We have the Riley Alert, which basically rivals the Amber Alert because we don't have to worry about where these stories fall short or where you don't meet a certain criteria where you can get on the Amber Alert. So we have the Riley Alert. All this stuff came into play because of what happened to Felicia Barnes and how everybody came together to, to group together to make things better for missing persons. We have the Guardian Angels Honk for the Missing campaign, which is not only a national campaign, it's a global campaign. This is a campaign where basically we across the country pick a date. We pick a person to profile. We're able to spread awareness to any kind of a case, old, cold, new, minorities, you name it. We can get out there to spread this awareness and get the media and get the police and everybody back involved. We can at least do something when all that downtime the family has where they got to sit and wait. We can do something. So we have the program like uh, the Honk for the Missing. We have the San Antonio Guardian Angel chapter. And that chapter is led by Guardian Angel leaders who each one has a family member in their family who's missing and still missing, not found. They are still missing today. And what did they do? Just like the Barnes family or so many other families out there, these families decide, okay, I'm going to use my pain to help educate, help spread awareness and comfort other people that are just like me who are going through what I'm going through with missing persons. So we have the Guardian Angel chapter in Atlanta, which is also where our partners, Peas and their pods are located. They can put boots on the ground. They put awareness together. But we have this great big community network that may not have come into play if it wasn't for the disappearance of Felicia Barnes. So again, you heard me say it as tragic as this this story is. Felicia Barnes brought us all together 10 years ago. And we're all still working together 10 years later. And we're all on this video 10 years later. And there's so many more of us, there's tons of us. But Felicia Barnes made a difference. She made a difference.